Hey, look at that, it's done. Hey, it's Joel, and this is the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS. Frozen reached out and said, we have an idea and we'd love for you to do a project. Could you do that? And I thought, you know what? I have this great idea. And I teased it in a previous episode. Coming up in a few weeks, we've got an amazing project and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Now you get to find out about it. Check it out. Do 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 do. This is the head of Optimus Primal, and you may have seen it recently because we featured this as a print done in metal, thanks to Velo 3D, and then we tortured it over at the Hacksmith, and it survived because Transformers Rise of the Beasts is out in theaters as of today. We worked with Paramount because they wanted something cool. We gave them something cool. It was a fantastic time, so this is the head of Optimus Primal. So what I wanted to do is print it in resin on a high resolution machine. That's a tongue twister right there. And then finish it. I wanna make it look like metal. And I have some really cool DIY tricks that we're gonna try. And I think at the end, fingers crossed, I'm going to learn a little, you're gonna learn a little, and we're gonna have ourselves a finished resin print. Let's get to it. Maximals, launch! I've moved this over because I got my silicone Wham Bam mat out, and in order to really get a proper look at this model, you have to kind of take the build plate off. And while we do that, a few stats about this machine. One, it's an 8K machine, so it's 7,500 by 3,240, and that gives it a 22 micrometer XY resolution. And that allows you to do crazy things such as this right here. For this part, obviously, we wanna put some gloves on, safety first. I've got my little scraper here and I just need to, oh, look at that. Come on, Proptimus Primal, you maximal. Easy again. So here we go, this is Optimus Primal, the head of Optimus Primal, before printed in Inconel 718, now printed in some 8K resin on this frozen Sonic Mini 8KS. This is the stand and this is the head. The details are fantastic and check this out. The supports just peel right off. This was sliced in Voxel Dance Tango and Frozen includes an evaluation copy on the USB stick. It's pretty decent slicing software. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna be removing supports. There's a lot of detail right here, which is why there's a lot of supports. And so you just have to take your time and get them. That is pretty cool. The supports are off the print, which is now off the build plate. And now we have to wash and cure. Standard resin stuff, standard. Well, look at that. Our friend, isopropyl alcohol. Oh yeah, get that whiff. I'm just gonna put it in here and kind of swish around a little bit. And then I'm gonna run my finger across the surfaces. And uh, it's gonna get most of the resin. I know I could just agitate it in here. Running my finger along the surfaces is, is going to get the most resin out. That's good. Now the head. Because it has some drainage holes, what I can do is put it in upside down, bubble in some isopropyl alcohol and swish it around. So there's a lot of crevices within the model itself and that's going to mean that I can't brush my finger over every surface, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, so this has now been washed. What I'd like to do is cure it. It's in the other room. I'll be right back. I'm gonna dry it, cure it, and the next time you're gonna see this, it should look fantastic. So, see you in a little bit. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it looks so good. We're washed and cured. So, this is Optimus Primal. This is in resin, and it looks, it looks amazing. The Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS is able to reproduce some of the tiniest details. So this is an 8K screen like this, and 8K over this size means that the pixels are larger, but 8K here, the pixels are smaller, so when printing smaller models, you can maintain more of that detail. And that's what happened here, especially around the eyes and the nose. It's stunning. Now that we have a model printed, washed, and cured, the next step is finishing, and here's my idea. I've got this 2X, primer and paint, and then I've got this Silverleaf 
rub and buff. So what I'm gonna do is hit this with a coat of this black paint, wait for this to dry, and then rub this silver rub and buff on it. So then the paint will get into the crevices, but the rub and buff will stay on top and it should look really good. The problem I'm running into though, is I'm in an enclosed space. How do I spray paint in here? And that's where I have an idea. I picked up a box fan, a furnace filter, and I picked up 3M multi-stage grease. It's duct tape, it's duct tape right here. This is duct tape. I picked this up. The idea being I'm gonna build an air filter. O-M goodness. And then I still have the box that the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS came in. So then if this air filter is made, I can use cardboard to put around it. And then I've got myself a tiny little paint booth. Nice. And I'm really excited about this because I've never done this before. I've seen lots of tutorials on it, but now I get to do it. Wish me luck. So the air is coming out this side, which means it's pulling air on this side. So what we need to do is put the filter on this side. That's science. I did choose a 20 by 20 filter because it's roughly the same size as the box fan. Sweet. This is where the tape comes in. Now I get to tape the sides. Okay, we'll put on the high speed. Okay, can it, is it still? Yep, okay, it's attracting that. So let's just, let's give it a test. It's working! <laughs> Holy cow, that worked great. Well now, um, it's time to put a base layer on Optimus Primal. I'll get this set up with some cardboard to kinda paint booth it and then, yeah, we're getting there. Both. Let's get painting. I will turn the fan on. Um, my respirator seems to be missing, so I'm gonna use one of the included masks that we get with resin 3D printers. A respirator would be better. This is better than nothing. Always try to be as safe as you can. That's pretty good right there. I don't need a lot of paint. I just need a single coat that dries well, and then we'll use the rub and buff. We're almost there, and I'm so excited. Later. I think the paint, it's not fully dry, but it's at a point where I can apply the rub and buff. And I've done this before, and I just remember how unforgiving it was to the hands. So let's just, let's just go for it. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger there, rub it around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is exactly what I was going for. Oh, this is looking great! This is looking great! You looking good, man! There you go, now we're friends. I'm trying to be a very even spread. I love it. I think I love it. Oh, this is amazing. So obviously that black, paint undercoat provides that illusion that there's depth, like big depth, like shadows. And then you put the rub and buff on and it gives it that brushed metallic look. Oh man, this looks cool. I've only done rub and buff one other time and it was that big pumpkin skull. I mean, I love how it turned out, but this, uh, this is my first resin print doing this. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. We did it. Maximals, maximize! Here's why this is important. Experimentation is key and there's joy. There's absolute joy in finding a way to do something and having it turn out okay. Like this looks great. This looks absolutely great. And it's not like I have a high skill in art. I don't. I threw some paint on it and then used my phalanges to rub in some rub and buff. And that was it. That was it. But look what it did. Look what it did to this model. It changed it from 
the gray, boring resin prints that we're used to. And with the help of the detail that the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS can achieve, it turned it into art. This is art right here. This, this was amazing. I can't even begin to express how joyful this is to DIY, to DIY an air filter that worked. It's a box fan, a furnace filter, and some cardboard. And I used the cardboard from the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS. Well, this is just cool. I really hope that if you have yourself a resin 3D printer, you do something like this. Or if you don't, the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS, it's at a good price. There'll be a link in the description. A big thanks to Frozen for sponsoring this episode and letting me bring forth some joy to you. I love it. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Rub and buff all the things. And as always, high five. I love it so much. Please do this. Tag me on the socials. I love it. I love it so much. I love it. I just love everything about this. This is amazing. <laughs>